So now we can get into the more interesting, controversial like debate that everybody likes to have. What's better? Live 2D, 3D, PNG, brain rooms, brain rooms, brain rooms, brain rooms, brain rooms. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're new to VTubing, I'm sure you have seen so many different types of VTubers. You've seen so many different types of VTubers. But would you call this guy a VTuber? Do you even know who this is? I'm sure you know who she is. I'm sure you've seen Phoebe. But do you know who the right opinion is? This is where I get canceled. Is the right opinion considered a VTuber? He has an OC. He makes YouTube content. He does a bunch of like interesting docu like commentary type of videos talking about stuff. And this is his character. Is this considered a VTuber? <gasps> no, it's not. And why is that? Because he doesn't call himself one. That's why he doesn't call himself one until he calls himself one. He's not a VTuber simple because he is a faceless content creator. Faceless content creation has been around for so long. You just don't show your face and you make content. I have watched faceless vlogs. I have watched commentary stuff with no person on screen. That's faceless content creation. Some faceless content creators use an OC to kind of represent themselves as like a character. If they don't call themselves a VTuber, they are not a VTuber because VTubing has more nuance to it due to it being heavily influenced by anime and idol culture in Japan. Remember where the term VTuber came from? Kizuna Ai was one of the first, um, was the VTuber to really like coin this term and she was a virtual idol. And she still is a virtual idol. Because of this, when you hear the word VTuber, there is this expectation of this anime and idol undertones, whether you may be aware of it or not. But if you're just faceless, you don't have those nuances tied to you. So there is like a little bit of a difference between faceless content creation and VTubing, even though VTubing is still faceless content creation. It's a subcategory. But with that being said, there's many different ways to VTube. There are 2D type of VTubers, which is like a static PNG or a, a live 2D model. There's also 3D um, VTubers. There's also GIF tubing, which is taking your PNGs and animating them. And there's also something called a Toon Tuber, which was coined by this YouTuber named Scott. He has an amazing tutorial on Toon Tubing. That's kind of like his own like take on making like GIF style. Like it's like a, it's like a hybrid of live 2D and then GIF tubing. It's actually very interesting. Maybe I should put it on its own category to be honest, because it's kind of like 2.GD or something. I don't know how else to describe it. I don't know, but it, it's like, it's really cool. These are all considered um, different ways to VTube because VTubing is just a medium that you're using and how you want to represent yourself is really up to you. And in terms of like, what's better? Well, one is not better than the other. A lot of people do prefer live 2D because it's the most like anime version of VTubing VTubing because again, the anime undertones that stem from VTubing. However, 3D VTubing has been getting a lot more popular lately because you have a lot more range of movements to work with. You can actually use 3D VTubing to move your entire body around. Whereas, you know, I'm kind of limited based off of like where my face goes, which I'll get into more of what I mean by that in a second. Um, with 3D, you can move your whole entire body when your actual body moves. That's the power of 3D. You can also have a much easier time creating different angles that you want to be doing. Whereas 2D, if I wanted to really turn my face like this, uh, this is as far as I can go. I, I don't know how to turn anymore, you guys. I don't know what's behind me either. I will never know what's behind me. So I really need all of you to tell me when something's behind me because I can never see it. And I just have to take your word on it because I can't turn around to look. <laughs> That's the limitations of 2D, live 2D at least. 